my friends. I have to stand on my tippy toes. <laughs> Make myself seen in the camera. Whoops. You okay, Jay? Yeah, I just didn't realize that was there. Okay. Um, Jason might be um, a little worried about today because I'm about to show you Shush. why we are going to Costco and getting myself a new wagon. Everyone was talking about my wagon in my last video. How wonderful it is to have a wagon at the beach. Hang on, we got lotion. Hang on. Yesterday, well, the day before. Okay, so we went to the lake with our friends Saturday night. Came home. He pulled the wagon out. It had everything in it. And <laughs> Chelsea's right here laughing. Um, and I said, you have to unload it all. You have to put it all away or else the wagon will be in the way of the car. No, you just said. Yes, I did. I said. Just leave it in the car. Leave it in the car. And I didn't want anyone stealing it out of our car at church. They had never stolen anything out of our car at church. So anyway, he did not unload the wagon. He left it in the garage. Then we went to church. We took two cars. Took my car to get the tires rotated. So then when he came home, we picked up my car and he brought it home. And he parked his my car and I parked his car. And I came in the front door, and he was standing there, very sheepish. And he's like, I kind of did something. So I'm going to go see what he did. So Jason doesn't want to be... <laughs> Turn the car off for just a second. <laughs> Turn the car off for just a second. Gotta back out. Okay, back out. Okay, for reference, the wagon was right here, fully set up, fully loaded. When you pull up, you can't see it because the hood. Yeah. So now, here's a scratch on my car right there. And my wagon is not so rectangular anymore. It still works. It's just. It, a it's just <laughs> see, it still works. I barely even noticed it. Uh, it's really crooked. He kind of worked the metal back into shape. The only problem is that... Uh, he ran into it from here. Uh, what is the problem? You know what the problem is. Well, oh, you can tell right now. You can tell how warped it is. broke some pieces. Right. If I had a welder, I just need a welder. We need to go buy me a <laughs> A couple hundred dollar welder or a forty dollar wagon. Oh, it's only forty bucks? You're complaining about four bucks? <laughs> I'm also complaining about the fact that you scratched my new car. I'm upset about that too because... I don't like scratching the car either. And I'm worried that I'm not going to have a wagon right when our summer actually so we began. Start talking and we should start going to the store. Someone has a guilty conscience, huh, Chuck? You are lucky, dude. It's, it's extra wider, large. It's it is. Tires. It's wider tires. Be better. Look so it's actually more money. Me crushing it actually is helping. And you got water bottle holders. Oh, water bottle holders. It is a mess. Oh, it's a net that goes over the top to keep everything in. Oh, look at that. See, it was time to upgrade. All right, your money. <laughs> okay, get it. Good job. <laughs> Chelsea. Yes, You're so cute. We never get Chelsea to come I with, love us. You with us. She's the only one awake, and she wants a soccer ball. We could go and look and see if they have one over here. I doubt it. No, we'll go up to well, Dick's. They probably don't have the size I need. Right. Okay, let's get the last of our stuff. We're not buying it very many things of food today. We are days away from being able to go on our vacation. So I'm trying to eat the rest of our food. And when we go home, we have to clean out our fridge because it's growing ice in the very back of the fridge. So we have to completely empty it. So we're not buying very many food items today. Okay guys, they finally have these microfiber towels like we got for our trips to Hawaii. I use them at the beach now. But they have them here at Costco. Look how much they fold down. They're 16, no they aren't. They are $10, $11. But they're small. Like here's the towel. And it, you know, it folds up really small. So anyway, if you're looking for those, they have them here at Costco. They have like cute designs. There's a cute little Hawaii beachy one. There's a wavy one. That one I just had in my hand was like cute tropical leaves. That one's cute. Okay, changed my mind. We're gonna go ahead and get the food that we need for our trip. I'm taking food that is non-perishable. So we were getting chips, right Chels? Chips and pancake mix and 
things that don't have to go into a oh, cooler. Yeah, mix? yeah. I need a haircut. I'll do that tonight or today, whenever. Okay, we found Chelsea's sleeping mat for camp, and she found her Chelsea Squishmallow. You have money, you have to pay me back, but I don't really think you need to spend more money on this. I know, I don't. You don't need it. She tried to put it in the cart. <laughs> it's gonna fall out, can you shove it back in? Okay, Chelsea, you got your soccer ball? Yep. And we went up to Dick's, I ran into Marshall's, but I didn't find anything. Or, you know, the things didn't find me. But I wanted to show you guys <laughs> my list compared to Jason's list. Let me just show you. Okay, I use my phone where I can like check things off, okay? The paper. And then here's Jason's list. Yeah, a piece of paper. It's just the crumpled up piece of paper from no, his pocket. No, no, it's a folded piece of paper. And we got the pennies, the paycheck, I gotta get info to the accountant, we got the soccer ball, uh, we've got cart, and then I need to get this stuff in front of the house, maybe go for a run, and then I gotta do some work. Line. And we're in the McDonald's line. I am. Yeah, she didn't want to admit it, but then we're shaming her into. <laughs> she's gonna shame me about my piece of paper. We're gonna shame her about coming. She's to like it. sometimes we just don't need to tell them. Sometimes I don't tell you. I don't tell you she's every like part a of every day. Quadruple platinum Coke <laughs> member at McDonald's. They should just have one. They would have a special drive-through if this was an airlines. Oh stop! I didn't get a smoothie at Costco. I've been nursing my water the whole time we've been driving around. Okay, let's open my chariot. So we're gonna call it now the chariot. chariot. Well, in, they have different languages here. But I think we should call it the chariot. I think it is bigger than my last one. Oh, uh, it's the same thing, it's just bigger wheels. Okay. Ugh. It'll go better on the sand. Totally. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, right? Yeah. And it's got the mesh got better stuff to uh, hold everything in. Yeah. Okay, other things I like, the handle, like, velcros together like that, but then it also has a clip to clip, keep it closed, which is nice. Okay, let's open it up. Okay. Ha ha! Okay, so it's not that much bigger. I think it's identical. They just put bigger wheels on it and give you a mesh clip. A little mesh bag right here. Oh, and then there's a mesh cover. Whoops, it's hooked to it. This cover can go over the top of it in case you want to keep stuff from falling out, which is kind of cool. Slick. And then to fold it up, you just lift, and then you slide it together. Oh, oh sorry, it slid. You lift, slide it up, and then you can hook it, and I can actually do this almost one-handed. It's pretty good. Can I do it one-handed? Look at that. Nice. Click. And then it's still on wheels, so you can still like wheel it around and like store it, which is cool. Now we're gonna take this one and go put it by the curb. Okay, so we shall see if this actually gets taken. I don't know. Okay, Chelsea's <laughs> sleeping mat. It's a little big. We did just get this at Costco. It was on rebate finally. That's okay. You're short. Yeah. Dad needs to be able to use it too for his trips. Yeah. So, do you just like blow it up or what? Well, so like this is too plate. big for your mouth. So it has like a second thing. Like you well, lift up oh, this. Okay. And then it has... You could have it with a pump, but... Well, I mean, for that one I will need the pump because I know... I thought it had... I thought it auto like air inflate. Doesn't it auto inflate? Mm -hmm. I've given Jason tasks to do, but he's looking at a little special surprise I can't show you. It's right down here. I haven't been able to look at it. I know, we have a surprise. You can't see it down here. Well, Actually, there's a bigger, yes it is. I need you to go start packing and then take the laundry up. If you want any participation in going to Target to pick out your car snacks for the road trip, you should probably come with us. I should probably get out and do something. It wasn't the day we go quickly. Right, so can you please go start packing your bags and take the laundry up. Yeah, give me three minutes, I'll be done. <laughs> right, and then you'll forget everything and I'll have to repack you. No. Go. It's easy. A couple shorts, a couple t-shirts. Swim. Laundry, call it good. Take. I mean, I only have so many shorts. I know, because it's really easy for you to pack for one. I know, because if I tried to pack for more, <laughs> your sphincter would get so tight. And <laughs> Go. Up, 
La 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 la. <laughs> Welcome to the day. To be fair, she did not just wake up. You've been laying in your bed? For like a whole hour. Um, I don't think so, because I think I recorded you an hour ago and you were not awake. Like at two, I think so. Yeah, that's 40 minutes ago. You okay? We need to get you back off of your steroid schedule. <laughs> she went to sleep at 2 a.m., right? So it's, she got her 12 hours of sleep. We just need to not take a nap today. If you want to go to Target, it's really noisy in here. If you want to go to Target with us and pick car snacks, you need to go get something to eat really quick and come with us, okay? Okay, why don't we get some food first? All right, you guys, I have been dreading this all day, but I literally have nothing left to do. I need to clean this fridge out because it's frozen. Not only are we leaving, but it's frozen on the back here. Can you guys see? Let me get you back in here. Can you see the ice? I don't think you can even see. Oh, there you can see. You can see crack here. No crack. Crack down there. There you go. Now you can see it. This back panel is frozen, which makes it so that this whole tray is frozen. But you see you have a towel in here, because every once in a while it thaws out and then fills this whole thing up with water. So now I can't get this open because it's frozen to the back panel. And we're leaving soon anyway, so we are going to clean out the fridge, put most of this in the outside fridge so that we can thaw this one out. Are you gonna help me? Yeah, you can have that. We're both gonna, trying to stay awake. <laughs> You're gonna have it after you do dishes? Okay, well I gotta clean this out, but you need to help me clear this space off by loading for me so that I can clean out the fridge. We've clear, cleaned out the fridge. These are some of the condiments that were on the little spinny racks. I've cleaned these off. And then the rest of the food we put out into the garage, right? We're just leaving these guys in here for now because we're hoping we don't have to have it turned off for that much longer. Um, but we have everything pulled out of the fridge. So you can see, Jason's kind of starting to wipe everything down. And this back panel is what has to come off. So we're gonna start to try and blow dry it and get it to melt. But if not, we have to pull that whole panel off. If you haven't already seen that we've had to do this before, we've already had to do this before. And that's how we know how to do it. Next up, I've got some pasta sauce. I learned a trick on TikTok. My kids can make fun of me. But you take a little muffin tin. Got to pull one out. Then I've sprayed it with some spray. If I had silicone cupcake holders, I would use that, but I don't. Then I'm going to take my pasta sauce and I'm going to pour it into these. And then we're going to freeze these. We never finish a jar when we open it, because the kids just kind of make pasta on their own. But this way, I can freeze them in these little chunks, and then, then I can pop them out and put them into a baggie. Then they can come and get their own pasta sauce for an individual serving whenever they want. And they don't have to open a brand new jar. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those. Okay, we are cleaning out our fridge like we've never cleaned it out before. That didn't break the glass, did it? Is that just water? So we figured out how to pull these little tabs out from the corners so that we can pull the glass out and clean it like it's yes, never, that's... oh, that's so disgusting. Ooh. Can you see that grossness? Wait, can I see it? Oh, that's so disgusting. Okay, this one is cleaner than it was when we got it, which is amazing. Nine years ago. Nine years ago. This one is pretty nasty. So I'm gonna work on this one. Jason is still working in here on getting it to thaw out, taking off some of the paneling, trying to get to the back where it is frozen. Correct? Yeah, I think, uh, yep. Yeah. I don't think you can see it, but there's ice. The screws came out with ice on it. All right, so we've been trying, we've gotten this whole thing de-iced, but this drawer still won't open. So he's been using that blow dryer to lift up the bottom of this drawer, lift it up the bottom like you've been doing, like that. Oh, 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 Sweet. wow. There's water pouring out. There is there. Here, get, get footage of all the water. Uh, here, where is it coming it out from? It oh, it is, out. it's leaking down, down there on the floor. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We've never taken this out. It's been a while. So that whole thing was frozen back here. I guess so. And just like blocked it up. Let me see what. So, yep. Yeah, I just got frozen in there. Look at all that. That's Good job, disgusting. Good job. Little ice. Look right here. You see? Feel it. Oh, I gotta get in here. Okay, so this is all oh. ice. See that oh, ledge right ice. there? That's like. Oh, that's a whole sheet. And then of it, ice. you can see it right here. This isn't focusing worth anything, so. But you can see it right here. Look right here. Oh. This little oh, lip. Holy crap. This is like this a whole thing is quarter ice. inch of ice. It goes over to here. Oh, wow. Over to here. Right? Isn't that crazy? Oh, wow. So this is like you. Oh, that's why the wheel was stuck in the ice. Oh, gosh. You can see back there. The wheel is stuck oh, in oh, ice. Oh, see? Look. I know. We've got to be very careful. I know. I know. Oh, that's so satisfying. Check wow, that out. Look at that piece of ice. Look how solid that is. <laughs> Look how solid that's that like is. A, that's a quarter inch. Yeah. Holy crap. Can I see that? Look at that. We got the biggest oh. chunk coming out. Oh, oh, it broke. But look at that. Oh, that's that. insane. That is like, that's That is ice. solid. Okay, Ashley, I want to show the ice in the sink. Yep. That's crazy. Okay, we're getting the fridge cold again. We can put the bread in there and the pickles in there because it's okay. But we're going to get it cold again and then we'll bring the rest of the food in. And now I am using, I'm using my stainless steel spray to really give the outside a good scrub down because it is nasty. And Jason is mopping. Is that number two super wipe? Yeah. Oh, this floor was so gross after all that. We could see our footprints in the, in the water, in the floor, like with dirt. All right, our clean kitchen. You're making pot stickers and rice yeah. yep, yep, for yep, dinner. Yep, yep, yep. I've got my rotisserie chicken stock going. I've had it going since last night. Pull it away from the cabinet here a little bit. I was going to make Hawaiian rice with this, make gravy with it, but I'm too tired tonight. You're making rice, pot stickers. The rest of the kitchen is completely clean and cleaning out um, under here to put all the garbage away. We found mold. So oh, you did? yeah, in that yellow bucket. So it kind of turned into Pandora's box as we were cleaning things up. We had to clean from top to bottom. So I'm exhausted. It's eight o'clock. Abby, I'm going to go. Let's go. And we really don't have much food. And Abby doesn't like a lot of the freezer meals that we have that are easiest. She doesn't like pot stickers or ravioli. We don't have any more of her garlic pasta. And I'm not buying more. So I'm just gonna take her and get some Subway. And Chelsea's gonna get a cheeseburger. And we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. Cause I think that's pretty much a pretty good job for one day. Um, I'm exhausted. I was gonna go for a walk tonight, but I think that was enough of a workout. <laughs> At least I'm sweaty enough to call it a workout. So I hope maybe that was encouraging to you guys, motivating. Um, dad, you are off the hook. Jason, you are off the hook. <laughs> he was like weird out that I called him dad. You are off the hook for hitting my car and breaking my wagon. <laughs> I forgive you, especially after all the help you gave me today. So thank you and I'm sorry that you hit my car. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry too. I didn't want to hit anything. I know, you didn't do it on purpose. It was, just, it was there, it happened. Yep. It's happened. Kind of yeah. like me backing into. Oh, okay. That was a long time ago. <laughs> like 16 years, 17 years ago. How, how long until you think you'll let the uh, little crushed basket go? A wagon? Wagon, basket. Wagon. I don't know, I'm at 15 years. Probably. Yeah, probably. Say goodnight, guys. Places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you